Our next problem deals with a floor plan. Draw a graph that models the connecting relationships in the floor plan. Then use the graph to determine if it's possible to find a path that uses each door exactly once and explain. And then if such a path is possible, figure out where it should begin. So we have rooms designated by letters and the outside of the house is designated by the letter G. Let's take a vertex for each of those. So we're going to have A, B, C, D, E, F, and we have G. Notice that room A is connected to room B, and that's the only room it's connected to. Room B is also connected to room C. Room C is connected to B, to E, and to the outside, which is G. So we're going to put an edge going to room E. We're also going to put in an edge going to G. Now, we don't have to draw it going around. We can just draw a straight edge going up to G. Room D is connected only to room E. Room E is connected to C, to D, and to F. F is connected to E and to G, and so we can put an edge going to G. Now, we're trying to determine if it's possible to find a path that uses each door exactly once. Now, each door is represented by an edge, so we're looking for an Euler path. To do so, we can determine the degrees of the vertices. We notice that A has only one edge off of it, so that's odd. B has two edges, so that's even. C has one, two, three edges, that would be odd. D has only one edge off of it, so that's odd. And really, we can stop there, because the minute we end up with more than two odd vertices, we can determine that there is not going to be an Euler path, so our answer is no.